Okay, so you're probably a little bit familiar with uh, what it looks like when you come in to Little Green Light, but let's just start by um, reminding you that LGL is a web-based um, solution, so it's not something that um, it's not software that you're purchasing and that will be downloading on a computer. Um, it is um, a web-based tool that you'll access via an uh, via the internet. Um, and so basically you're able to access LGL from any web-enabled device that you have. Um, the other nice piece is that with LGL um, you have the opportunity to have as many users have access to the system as you'd like. Um, we actually call those folks team members and you can manage them right here on this um, home screen. And this is the screen that you come to which you're probably familiar with um, when you first log in to your account. Um, each team member um, can have their own unique uh, username and password, and uh, you also have the ability to assign a specific role to each user. So you can limit access to uh, different users should you want to. Um, there are three default roles that come with LGL, uh, volunteer, fundraiser, and administrator, with administrator having you know, all the rights and responsibilities and volunteer being fairly restrictive and ultimately are unable to see any gift giving information. Um, so when you, as I said, when you first log into the system, you come here to our dashboard screen. And the dashboard screen I kind of think of as kind of a window into all the different areas of functionality that exist within LGL. Um, so you can see at a glance um, some of the um, tasks and goals maybe that you have set up in the system and their statuses. You also have the opportunity to see a calendar um, where some of those activities will show up in terms of those tasks um, or contact reports. Um, but even if you've set up um, gifts with installments, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, um, you'll actually see when installments are coming due on this calendar as well. So it really is kind of a window into all the different activity that's going on um, in the system. You can also customize the view on this calendar by um, looking at not only your own information, but you could look at other team members' calendars as well, so you can see what they've been up to while they've been in the system. Um, and if you wanted to be able to see everybody's, you can also view that as well. Um, so you can see the view changes quite a bit, and now you can see all the different activity that's been going on aside from all the users. Okay. Um, you can scroll obviously back and forth, and you also can sync this calendar with an outside calendar if you want. So um, it is a one-way syncing, so basically you're subscribing this calendar to an outside calendar, which means all the activity, all the information that's showing up on this calendar will show on your outside calendar. Just your outside calendar activities will not come into your LGL calendar. Okay. Um, and then finally, on the uh, right-hand side of the dashboard, what you see are some fundraising totals. So LGL automatically um, updates these fundraising totals for you as you enter in new gifts. So we have a year-to-date total as well as a current month total. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do some further breakouts for you so that you can see things like your, to your top active campaigns, fund heels, um, and even events, actually, if you keep scrolling down. And um, and then we also have the ability for you to be able to track volunteering hours, uh, time that um, are giving to your organization, you can categorize them um, in whichever way is available for you. And you can see that review, that overview here on the dashboard. And then lastly, the other thing that you can see on the dashboard here is a quick constituent search field box. Um, and the only thing I usually like to point out um, at, at this point, because we're going to talk about constituents quite a bit um, shortly, is that the constituent search box here is fairly flexible. And what I mean by that is that you can do a full name search or a partial name search or even just a couple of letters, and you'll get results that, um, that have those letters in either the first name, last name, maiden name, or organization name fields. Um, so. If you're not quite sure of a spelling of a last name, for instance, and not sure if somebody is in the system, um, you can easily just do a quick search.